Indeed we are. The GSL. A PVP. And then a ZBZ. <laughs> All right, so uh, Trap versus Hero will decide who goes on first. Then it's going to be No Regret uh, versus Dark to see who's knocked out. Now, I know that No Regret is certainly the underdog, but actually No Regret could upset Dark. No Regret got into the GSL Code S by winning ZDZs. Also, Trap could upset Hero because Trap yes. is a very good PvP player. He is. Uh, these things are both very, very true, so like anything could occur at this point. I'm sure that No Regret is very much hoping that Hero moves on <laughs> so that he doesn't have to play him again if he does manage up to set uh, Dark, but we will see about that because, again, like, especially one of my favorite things to cite is Trap's part of the Swarm PvP. Because, like, there was, like, Zest and Rain and Hero and a few others that were, like, the best Protosses in the world, and Trap would generally beat them. Because you just play more decisively. You'd be like, well, I'll skip Observers. You go DTs, you win. Yeah. And then, like, you just have two more Stalkers and win. Now, PvP has changed a lot since then, so you can't play exactly like that. But the kid plays decisive. He'll have a good build. And he absolutely can take you down. Whirlwind, map number one. I'm excited. I, I, I'm not sure who comes out on top. I thought I thought Hero would get out no matter what, but I really didn't think Trap was going to be dark. That was actually, to be honest, the biggest upset for me today sure. so far. Um, maybe even actually out of all the games we've cast, besides Morrow getting knocked out, I really didn't think Trap would be able to take on a player like Dark. Dark Trap put in the home. He did his homework. Yeah. Well, he's a very good player indeed. We'll see. Can he take down Hero, who might be the hottest player on Earth right now? Yes, with his play and his looks. Let's find out. This is game number one, Trap versus Hero. Fight. That you tried, but there ain't no going back. In the upper right, in the blue, he is. Jin Air Green Wings. Trap. Or T Rap. T Rap. Yeah. All these alternative readings of the IDs. And in the upper left, in the red, he is... Root Gaming Hero. Or Her Zero. Her Zero. Meow. Her. When I, when I hear the her here, there, I don't think of, like, uh, the, the girl pronoun. I think of, like, the... Is, don't you... Like, a, a sir in German, isn't it? Like, her? Hair? Maybe? Something like that, right? It's, is Something it H E I R? Like oh man, we're probably like so stupid. Her tasteless. There's probably a bunch of uh, German people yelling at their computer monitors right now, like, "No, you idiots!" <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but don't forget that that's not what German people sound like. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> no, you idiots! <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's much more accurate, right there. Okay. Um, well, let's see how this game turns out. PVP. I think this is one of the most interesting mirror matchups out of all of RTS. PvP and StarCraft 2. Yeah. It's so good. There's so many different ways you can take the game. There's so many different unit compositions. This is something that I think that a lot of people don't uh, really realize unless you play Protoss. It's like there's no correct unit composition. There's so many different unit sets that you can actually go for in various timing attacks. There's all sorts of ways to get to late game. There's different end game compositions. And PvP has been like that for a while. Uh, really, the Mothership Core in general fixed this matchup more than any other. Yeah, I, I feel like we don't get to cast enough PvPs, to be honest. Yeah, there's, there's not as many right now, that is for sure. Stargate Tech coming up here for Hero. Okay. Trap just with Stalkers at the moment. And Hero is continuing to make Adepts, so, uh, you know, if he's one of these guys that just has a bunch of Adepts shading in, he might try to force some of these overcharges out. Keep, uh, keep Trap back a little bit with the threat of killing probes, considering Trap didn't make the wall. That's, like, such an important thing, right? Like, if, you, if you're going for lots of Adepts and they did not make that wall there, you definitely have a lot more potential to get damage done. Absolutely. By the way, a uh, quick scout there from Hero reveals a trap has not tried to take an expansion here. Second base is the hardest base to get up in PvP. If both players get a second base up, things sort of calm down for a little bit. Tend to get to a uh, few later techs, but 
It's it's tricky to just try to get that second base up. There are so many different timings. Oh my this is god. Cool. He's gonna be able to body block like it's Dojo 2! <laughs> yes. But two adepts come out and do force him back. It was a cute move there. Yeah. Ooh, he's gonna go around. Yeah. He isn't quite gonna kill that. Bit of a mistake there keeping his adepts in front of his stalkers so they can't utilize their speed, but uh, the shading does get them away here with a lot of adepts out right now. So both players getting their nexuses, their nexi, for all my Latin nerds out there. <laughs> Latin nerds. <laughs> they say it's a dead language, they say it's a dead game. <laughs> Colossi, nexi, yeah. anything you want. Oh, sick, he got it. Great play. And he took off the shields on the probes, great yeah. job. Those probes are really bruised. Yeah. You can come back later. It's like, no, you can't. They're just going to heal. Oh. oh, too bad. So, good defense thus far. Still a lot of adepts out, so it can get a bit tricky. There was some, some funny stuff that could occur here since what they're both on Twilight. <laughs> he, like, shades just stays there. <laughs> okay. Cancels it at the last thing. I'm like, what? <laughs> what are you doing, man? Get back to using your APM for something yeah. that matters. He's kind of forcing him in a position where it's hard to even mine from this base right now. You'd imagine that Hero's just going to go into Glaives. He might actually just stay on mass adepts. That's actually like a thing you can do. If you super mass adepts, you Whoa. can... Look at this. Oh, my God. Look at this. And body blocking these probes like it's Dota 2. <laughs> Dota 2. Let's be real. Warcraft 3. Warcraft 3. Okay. Yeah. It's... Well, uh-oh. Oh, for a second there, I thought those were DTs because yeah, yeah, they were staying the, like I invisible. I thought the exact same thing. And then I was like, wait a minute, I he went, uh -oh. have DT tech. And then I'm like, oh, they're just adepts, okay. <laughs> like us as adepts could still cause a problem. Yeah. And still kill quite a few probes. Both getting blink, actually. I wasn't expecting that considering he has so many adepts, but he can also sacrifice these to just kind of get some kills. This is such a weird game, by the way. I, this just kind of goes to show like how much variety there can be in PvP. It's not very often that you just see like six adepts roaming around between main and natural yeah. while he's, while their owner goes blink. <laughs> it's like, exactly. oh, this isn't really <laughs> too crazy, I guess. Well, I got to say, Hero's definitely got a good tactical approach. I think because Hero had so many games where he went for these crazy timings and all these all-ins, mm. he's really gotten good at his unit control and how to yeah. engage. And by the way, he's setting up for a closer here. Yeah, I would say that with Parting retired, Hero is like the best Micro Protoss. I agreed. I can't, like, him and Zest are the only two I would even consider uh, to have that that title there. And I think it does go to Hero. He's just ludicrously good at, at microing his units. Oracle's still flying around, seeing what they can get done. Dark Shine on the way here for Trap. That's, that's kind of tricky and cool uh, that he's going Dark Shine. Because Hero is actually the one kind of cutting corners here. He just went Stargate into Twilight, and he's making a ton of stalkers. Okay, uh, he's going to have uh, he's going to trap boxed up on the high ground. In fact, he's just going to oh go God. for it. He's just going to kill him, I think. Yeah, I think this might be the beginning of the end. Even if he loses this fight, look, Blink's going to be done mm -hmm. in a second. Look at this observer right clicked over the army. <laughs> he's watching himself get yeah. killed. All right, <laughs> where is it now? Just in case. Yeah. Oh man. The overcharge not going to be enough here. Just yeah. walks out of range of it. And he's going to keep warping in. The now DTs there, there are the last chance here. Yeah. And they might work. There's no robo. And he has a proxy pylon. Cases, is he just going to win by making like four DTs? Maybe. Well, actually, he doesn't even have money for that. He has money for one DT right now. Yeah, he's so uh, depleted on income. The other problem is that even if a DT comes out here, these are stalkers with blink, buddy. Yeah, I mean, he's still uh, going to get sick damage done. Yeah, he could still run around for days. And he has to warp in a DT defensively. There's no DT across the map yet. So this gives him so much more time. He's making an Oracle. <laughs> God, Hero just puts on so much pressure that even DTs out when he doesn't have detection can't kill him. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, I guess, you know, on paper it looks like that would be the hole in the play, right? Yeah. Um, but no, not at all. Uh, he just yeah, he has so much pressure that even if you get the DT tech out, you don't have enough to handle the muscle that Hero has in his yeah. army. Look at this, he's getting some damage done, but there's gonna be an Oracle out. He doesn't even have the economy to warp in enough DTs to do anything. One tag clears this. Yoink. Really nicely done. I guess you could keep making DTs, maybe that would snowball it. Kinda like these uh, Terran players do with the, now that's it, GG. Yeah. The Robo's about to finish there as well. So. True, yeah.
But that was that was just hero non-stop pressure. This guy, his form is so insane right now. Like, he, I, he, there's no tear in the group tonight, but just for reference, uh, not this Alima League, but the one before this, he won 3-0 in the finals over Gumiho. So good. Just so crazy. Him, just killed him. All right, hero but, takes game number one, but it is a best of three. What is this song? Oh, oh yeah. What is, it's I know a remix song. of like... Oh, that doesn't help. Maybe me. not. It sounded like a, like a remix of some old song. Yeah. Crap makes DTs, but I don't know, but it's definitely enough. Definitely some people from Britain singing this. What? That's right. I, I, I didn't catch that. What? I think that they were like British singers. It sounded like that. One of those songs, like like the Bravery or something. Well, that narrows it down. Yeah. <laughs> So, like, let's see, who's from there? Yeah. <laughs> the Beatles? The Queen? No, Elton John. It was Elton John. There we go. We solved it, guys. <laughs> All right, game number two is going to be on Odyssey. Trap versus Hero. A fight to escape what? Group F and move on to the round of 16. You can fly, you can fly. You can tell them that you tried, but there ain't no going back. Just a matter of fact, they're like, oh, it's the Beatles. You're like, most of the Beatles are dead. I'm like, oh. <gasps> <laughs> In the upper left. Gin Air Green Wings. Trap. It's a better idea than tarp, for instance. Or trout. Or about trope. wrapped? That's also, trap is a better idea than that as well. Than wrapped? Yeah, absolutely. In the bottom right, in the red. Root Gaming. Hero. You don't like, you don't like, you like the idea you wrapped our toes? Why don't you change your name to it? Hey guys, it's tasteless and wrapped. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I was thinking actually, and this is a Nexus first. We saw stats do this recently. Or we'll Say see goodbye to that grass. Only grass on the map. <laughs> Only grass on the map. Turning this into even more of an urban jungle <laughs> on this map. <laughs> oh man. Oh, busted. The your phone. The teams, like, wow, that was a really good build. He's like, yeah, it was. Um. Okay. Well, Nexus first. We'll see if Trap can. Uh, Kill him off with this. A lot of times you just see a proxy stargate against this. Hasn't scouted yet, right? No. Probe is taking the long way around. He might have already been planning a proxy even. Well, it's hero. Oh, it's trap going com next first. Yeah. Answer first. Hero moving out like this instead of probe in this corner is not surprising. <laughs> what? what? You got it mixed up? Yeah. Why? Well, I, I, I like in my head. It's CC first. Like, I was a Terran player in StarCraft once, so it's just, like, what it is, mm -hmm. you know? So I have to, like, have a, a filter in between what I think and what I say, which I generally don't have, as you would well know. I, <laughs> I, a long time ago, I don't know if I ever told you about this. This is back when I had a solo cast, when I first started working in Korea. Yeah. And I casted a TVT that was, like, 50 minutes long, in which I had the players mixed up the entire game. Oh, I remember that game. Yeah. I remember that. Somewhere, People were going crazy. Somewhere... Uh, along the line, I think it was 40 minutes into the game, somebody passed me a note on a piece of paper. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, no. All right. Well, that's This terrible. has been a very awkward cast. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. everybody. Yeah. I'm doing this all by myself right now, so there was nobody here to mm. help me. Next time you're doing that, I'm not going to tell you. I'm yeah. just going to let you Just let me going. burn. I'm like, yeah, Tasis, that's exactly what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have my phone out, and I'm typing the Twitch chat about how you're <laughs> dumb. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, Hero is going for a very decisive play. He wants to come in here and end this right away. Yeah. Proxy Robo. All the way. Hmm. Is he going to be able to kill him off with this? I think well, so. If it's like, Stalker versus Stalker and you have Immortals, yeah, I think you win. Yeah, but it's a very quick Mothership core as well, so that might help out a bit. Hold on. He got scouted. And sometimes seeing that there is a not additional tech is enough to tip you off that something's gone awry here. Mm. If you don't have a nexus or units or tech, you got to be assuming there's something out on the map. Ooh, the stalkers might end up finding it. Down goes the probe. Now, he'll scout this, but... Right? Like, will no. he? No. Yeah, no. <gasps> Turns around. <gasps> He's like, I found a gold base. i got to go back and tell the probes. <laughs> They're going to be so excited. You guys are going to be so hyped about us. this. That is a gas probe, which is really, really bugging me. Less probes mine gas than minerals, so it feels more important. Okay, well, when the Immortal comes <laughs> out, that <laughs> that triggers the rush. Now, there is a pylon, like Artosis was saying, but 
seems like this could be pretty tough to deal with. Oh, he's going to force an overcharge right off, right? Yeah, well, let's see if uh, Trap bites the bait. Sucker. Okay, good micro here from Trap and really setting that off at the last possible second, which does matter. Oh, he's just going for it. Okay, well, no pylons left and he has more units. This isn't going to go well. Yeah, he actually gets right up in the front. He has a sentry in case he needed one, uh, which I don't think he does. No guardian shield or anything yet. Okay. Um, okay, there it is, force field. Well, that is so much damage. Oh, my okay. God. A uh, Trap might be able to live technically because he's like up his ramp well, with a making, bunch of units. Oh, I'm sorry. He's not. He didn't make a second immortal. He made a warp prism. Which uh, is, I thought true. that was kind of weird. Well, with a warp prism, that's like, for hero at least, it's like he has blink. Yeah. So, you yeah. can definitely out micro his opponent here, but Trap has a lot of stalkers. Maybe he'll be able to... No. Oh, he, he hit the warp prism, but at what cost? Almost double the stalkers here. Is he making a second immortal? Yeah, it's almost out. He has his pylons up, so... I mean, the defense occurs what is he, again. What would the energy be on the mothership right now? Oh, you, ooh, it's he has be maximum low. one more. Okay. I don't know if he even has one more. I think he's probably not on an overcharge anymore. Well, he has well. three-gate stalker, but it's three-gate stalker against three-gate stalker, and there's a mortal in the mix now. Okay. Trying to trigger that pylon cannon. So far, no dice. Going to flank there's with a this mortal for some out. reason. Oh, God. Oh. This micro, though, actually, he sets off that uh, shield with the Mothership core. So the Stalkers of Trap actually doing a fantastic oh, job. Oh, he's going to get the Mothership core. Ooh. There we go. Okay, this is an awkward position. The Immortal is the damage dealer, mm. but he needs to keep these Stalkers oh. alive. Oh, Guardian Shield coming down. Yeah, he's going to be able to pick up that Immortal, though. Still oh micro heavily. Oh, another Warp Prism comes out. What? I thought he's... I'm so I'm actually getting a little bit confused. I really thought he wants to just keep getting immortals. It mm. seems like if he just has another immortal at this point in time, he automatically wins versus having a warp in. I think like he's slightly at, closer. Like if he has maybe this he doesn't and the have the gas to do it. He's fine. He might not have enough gas to do it like that too. GG. And hero wins. That's it. Here, All right, through. short and sweet. Next round, 4-0. Uh, no real big surprise here. This guy is seriously on top of his game right now. This whole year, in fact. Let's not forget Super Tournament. We are going to go uh, to the losers match coming up here. Now, Trap's not knocked out. He'll go to our final match. Or he'll fight either No Regret or Dark. That's right. And really, anyone advances in second place now. Hero is, well, he was the real scary player, which is weird to say in a group that has Dark in it. But Dark uh, definitely has seen stronger days. Trap and Hero going over that last game. Definitely a good opener there by Hero. He just knows how to get in there and do that damage. Yeah. The stalkers always have a hard time against Immortals. It's funny because the Immortal was not made to counter Stalkers, but it definitely does counter Stalkers. It definitely does. Feels that massive damage so, so quickly. But great micro there on both sides. Trap almost pulling through. Very impressive stuff. Well, congratulations to Hero, but we're not done yet. We've still got two more best of threes tonight. Coming up next, No Regret versus Dark. Can our foreign hope, our Canadian, No Regret, take on one of the best Zergs of all time? He might. He's got a very he sneaky, might. tricky play style. Yeah, I'm sure he has some great stuff prepared for Dark. 네, 깔끔한 경기력, F조의 1위 진출자 김준호 선수입니다. 축하드립니다. 네, 감사합니다. The first player to advance the round of 16. Congratulations, 네, he says thank you. 깔끔한 경기력이었던 것 같아요. 먼저 1위 진출 소감 들어볼게요. Well, all this performance from 어, you, Hero, how do you feel? 연습할 때 경기력이 너무 안 first 나와가지고 all, 오늘 Whenever I practice, I couldn't level up my skills. So I had a lot of worries before I entered today's matches. But I studied a lot on my own, especially also my opponents. After I won my first match today, a lot of my confidence was boosted. My nerves faded. You didn't lose a single map. It seems like there was almost no crisis moment for you today. Well, if I had to pick one match, I had to pick the last match. That was actually the toughest one for me. Oh, that's an interesting response for Yuri says, so you studied a lot about your opponents. Almost as if you studied too much on your opponents. 4 says otherwise. I can feel you had a very good read on everything they were going to do. 어, 네. 
항상 그렇게 했는데 근데 네. 레더에서 했던 빌드를 그대로 하는 Did you know no regret was going to go for those types of attacks earlier? 그래서 당하면서도 좀 당했고 네. I know all I had to do was defend his all in and I'd be okay. Redo에서 하도 오린만 치길래 그때 또 치길래 아 땡큐 이러고 I've never seen a player quite like No Regret, like a player who uses these exact same builds they use in the ladder for him to do a tournament. 저는 못 이기겠거든요. 령우 같은 저그 선수들은. But 네. 근데 이기는 거 보고 아 잘한다 생각해가지고 승자전에서 좀 쫄았는데 그래도 심리전에서 좀. When he plays trap on ladder, he's a really hard player. Yeah, 이겼던 거 같아요. 네. 오늘 이렇게 생각보다 더잘 풀리셨던 것 같은데 네. 김준호 선수 이렇게 1위로 또한번 no 지난 시즌 2 기억이 나실 거예요. 네. 시즌 2에서 이제 시드 멋진 권력 행사하시면서 토끼도 완성을 시키셨는데 그 토끼들에 의해서 탈락을 하셨잖아요. 네. <웃음> 그 이후로 어떤 시간 보내셨어요? You were pretty favorable 어, in the group. 멘탈 나간 시간들을 많이 보냈는데 네. 어, 그 yeah. 뒤로 어떤 계기였는지 기억이 안 나는데 Even though I had a good position in the groups. 네. I was still eliminated, unfortunately, and that definitely shattered my mentality for the time. It took me a long time to kind of get right in the right mindset. 요새 GS에서 조진 명식은 꼭 가는 것 같은데 그 이후에 성적이 너무 안 좋은 것 같아요. 그래서 좀 분발해야 될것 같아요. 네. 이번에도 그래도 토끼도 만드는 전략은 유효하겠죠? 그냥 it should be easier for me, but I guess we'll have to make it that way. 그래요? 토끼조든 뭐 죽음해조든 그냥 저만 잘하면 될것 같고. 네. 어, I'm not sure if that's what's so important. I think that's not what I need to focus on. Instead, I should just focus on myself and my play. 그냥 정말 열심히 하면 될것 같고. 네. 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 정말 열심히 하